Welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. Once again, I have with us seven wonderful people. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm the host for today. To my left is Amber D'Amato, our guest expert. Amber is a musician and a yoga teacher. To Amber's left is Judy Jacob. To Judy's left is Amy Kitchener. And Marjorie, is, Marjorie Weston on Amy's left. To my right is Judith Marcus. And I have to get your name again, but I will get it. Josiane Hurd, did I get that right? You were there with us in the last episode. And we have Zainola Abdullah. Did I say that right? No. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to call you Zai. Today, Amber is going to help us understand how to use props in yoga. But before we go ahead with that, and all of our friends here are actually going to pick some postures from this postcard, which depicts the 48 simple stretches. Even though they are simple, technically, sometimes it helps to have props, something to help us. Honestly, the only real props we need are those that make us help us make the connection. So we're going to use minimum of props and get the maximum advantage, because props are like training wheels. Props are to yoga what training wheels are to bicycles. They are a temporary solution. So we don't want to use it on a long-term basis just to get us <coughs> into it, to break ourselves in. Amber, would you like to tell us a little bit about why props are being used before we actually try and use them? And we're going to have everyone pick a posture. Sure. Um, props are great. Uh, I always tell my students that they make your arm a little longer or your uh, reach a little bit further or um, most of the time they're used to basically help keep your spine really straight. So, you know, we'll definitely be, be using some of those today, but even if you don't have specifically blocks or, you know, yoga strap, you can use things from home. Um, I sometimes I use a, a, a necktie instead of a, a belt, you know, so you can always find... How you know. about people props? Can we help each other? Of course, of there course. You <laughs> <laughs> so if There's I lose part my balance, yoga. I'm going to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we get straight into it? Who would like to pick one posture to start us off? Josiane, I can see you are ready. <laughs> Don't worry whether we have to use props in it. We're still going to use it to show you. I like the, um, is it 30, 24? 24. What are we looking at? The 24. Are the Masina? We have demonstrated before, but you have not been in that episode. That's OK. If you want to, can we use a prop with that, Amber? Yeah. Sure. Maybe the belt or something? Or the block. But actually, is there another posture? Is that the one you really like? We'll definitely go now. OK. Yeah, that's okay. fine. OK. okay. Well, Amber's going to come to you since we don't have a demo mat. Uh, what do you need, Amber? Uh, we'll use the block. OK, fine. OK, very good. So Josie and you can sit on the block. <coughs> and everybody can join if okay. you guys don't mm -hmm. want to do it. Yep. Like, whoever has blocks, just uh, have a seat on the small setting of the block. And what it is, is it's going to make it like a small chair. So even though you're sitting on the floor, it should feel a little bit like a This is called Ardha Matsendra, right? Ardha 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 Lord of the Fishes. Yep. We forgot to name it. Or okay. Seated Spinal Twist. Seated Spinal Twist. So from there, you can bring the right arm up towards the ceiling as you inhale. And then exhale, bring the right hand behind your back. Behind your back, your own back. Yep. And then the left <laughs> arm up as you inhale. And then exhale, bring the left elbow outside of the right thigh. So you work on bringing the right hand close to the block, so bring it closer to you, yep. so that you can lift your back up tall, and as you exhale, you gently twist. Good. So if you can, flex the left foot, so the toes go towards you, so just flex the left foot, yep, the left one only. The right foot stays flat, mm -hmm. and you just use your elbow as a little bit of leverage to kind of help you twist. So take one more deep breath there, maybe inhale, lift your spine up tall, exhale, twist a little bit. Good, and then just gently release, do a mini twist to your left, just to release your back. 
good, and then we'll just switch legs. Very good, so bring the right leg out, left foot crossed over the right one. Yep, and we'll do the same with the arms, so inhale the left arm up. Exhale the left hand behind your back, and inhale the right arm up. And exhale, hook that right elbow outside of the left thigh or knee. Great. And see how she's got her hand here? This is a great option. You can also keep the elbow bent. Whatever works for you. You just use a little bit of leverage to help you kind of twist your body. So take one more deep breath there. Inhale, lifting the spine. And then exhaling, twisting a little bit. And then take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just release. Take a tiny twist to your right. Release your back. Sorry. <laughs> and then you can come back to center and just shake out your legs. And you can stay sitting on the block or you can come off the block. So Whoa, that some, was some intense. people like the block. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it in my obliques. Mm -hmm. I need okay, to get this mat feel off. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good for the digestion. Uh, it helps to, you know, oh, kind of massage the internal know. organs, all that good stuff. So. Oh, lovely, it feels great. <laughs> okay, and who's next? You know, I have Judy, one, yes. and I think the block might really help on this one, number 33, because okay. I think it's a difficult one, but oh, maybe with the block. Oh, Malasana. Malasana, Garland, Garland. The Garland. The yeah. Great. Help yeah, the block's going to be great. Sure. Okay, so can I borrow your block sure. for a second? <laughs> and I'll show Absolutely. you. Yeah. So this is for everybody who has a block. You can use it on any setting. You can do the small setting. Like for me, I'm very comfortable here in the squat, so I could put it on the small setting. You can put it on the medium setting or the high setting, but it's a little wobbly there, so why doesn't everybody try it on the medium setting? You'll just put it underneath of the sit bones, and you want to be careful with the knees here, so just make sure your knees feel comfortable, and you can separate the elbows. There you go. Yeah, Very good. So give it a try. <laughs> yeah, and if you feel unsteady even with it up that high, you can turn it lower. So see how you feel. Good. Got your balance side. Oh, very good. So you want to separate the feet about as wide as your mat. Mm-hmm. Yep. And try. You can try putting the block a little higher if you want. Try it up one more. Nothing wrong with that. That's why I love the blocks because they come in three different settings, Sizes, so right. you can use them. Yeah. So see how you feel. You can press the palms together and work on straightening out. Um, your, you know, bringing the knees a little bit away from you. And if you feel comfortable, you can take the left hand on the floor and the right arm up, and just gently twist the chest open. And then maybe releasing and switching sides, the right hand on the floor, the left arm up. And then just gently releasing back to center. Very good. Thank you. This yeah. is also called a squat, right? Right. Actually, talking of squats reminds me of something. There is, uh, there is the new, or well, it's not really new, but there's this news item that's been floating around. I heard it a couple of weeks back, a few weeks back, about super brain yoga. I don't know if anyone heard that, but basically what we do, in India, it's like, give me five. It's like the push-ups, equivalent of push-ups. When you're punished, when I was little, my brother used to get punished all the time, I'd watch him. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is you squat and you sit and you gotta stand and sit and you have to do that, like your uh, push-ups. You do 10, 15 times, depending on how bad Squats. you've been that day, <laughs> yeah. So, so they, I saw something, I think it was in AARP magazine, whether it, that if you do this and squat, do that sitting thing 12 times a day, you'll stay Active. You know why? They say the nerve endings in the earlobes actually go straight to the brain and it activates your brain, so it makes your brain very sharp. In fact, people have recorded kids with problems, learning problems, they've actually improved when they do the squats. But basically, you've got to make sure that your two fingers, your mm. forefinger and your middle finger, oh, touch. You've got to cross. Well, I know they have to cross. They didn't you can use your thumb, too. You can, the oh. thing is to have the connection at the oh, earlobes. Good point. And they're acupuncture points in the earlobes. Yeah. We'll go into more detail of, on that. One of these is we'll have a whole episode on that because that's supposed to make our brain sharp. I wish I'd knew, known that earlier. I was too good when I was little. <laughs> how about you, Judith? Would you like to pick a posture? Uh, yes, how about uh, number eight? Number eight? Oh, there. Ah, mm -hmm. ooh, that's a nice stretch. Ugrasan. Oh, I don't know. Let's all stand. Let's stand up. You can use the block on that. We can use the block, yes, to rest your head on. So keep your... Um, 
Go sideways on your mat. Okay, stretch as far as you possible and make sure, this is a term I use in my workshops, put your brakes on, basically get the toes a little in so you don't slip. When you keep the toes in, you won't slip as much. Now, if you want to place, now, I hope your blocks are close by, you want to place your blocks somewhere in the middle. Amber, you don't have a block, so you're okay. You don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a block? Yes. Would you like the block? Um, it's okay. Thank you. All right. Well, let's inhale. Get our arms up to our shoulder height. Inhale. Keep going. Inhale all the way. Take your arms above your head. Keep inhaling. Palms together if you can. If not, just keep your arms up. And then from the hip, you need to fold from the hip as you exhale. Keep going, keep exhaling, empty all the air from your belly and place your palms between your feet. Now once you're here, if your block is between your palms, it's gonna make it much easier for you to lower your head and feel the connection. Touch the top of your head to the block. Keep exhaling as you go down. Make sure you don't slip, put your brakes on. Keep exhaling. If you don't need the block, try and touch the floor with, your, with the crown of your head without the block. Hold for a couple of seconds and then as you slowly lift your head off the ground, now start inhaling. Come halfway and rest halfway and then slowly wiggle your feet closer. When you get past midway, you've got to make sure you don't slip. So wiggle your feet closer. Now you can start lifting your upper body. Keep inhaling, arms to your side at shoulder height. Exhale, bring your arms down. Turn forward, let's face the camera, move to the next question. <laughs> that was a beautiful stretch, yeah. did you? Yeah. Judith, did you pick that? That felt nice. Did you feel it in the pelvic region? I did. It was really really nice. <laughs> it's called ugra and ugra means fierce. Don't ask me whether when you're fierce should I do that, but I know my mom used to swab the floor. Just She's 82 and she still does it. She just stands like this. We don't have electric mops or whatever in India, so she just stands and mops the floor. So we could try that every day, maybe <laughs> clean our little kitchens with it. Abhi, still, does anyone want to pick a standing posture? Did you all get to use your blocks? You did? Amy didn't have one. That's fine. Okay, I'll pick another one. I'm curious. 15. 15, Amber? Let's see what 15 is. We're looking at Garudas and Eagle. You're going to need a people prop. And we're going to help each other. Amber, come on. Yeah, sure. Help us. Help us. All right, so you can use your neighbor if you want to balance for this one. So why don't we all step a little bit forward and you can just put your. Um, I'll partner with Judith. Maybe yeah, maybe everybody. Every, yeah, great. So we'll work. Okay. You just work with the person okay. next to you. Yeah. So you start by um, standing on your left foot, and then you're going to take the right foot, mm -hmm. and you can either just cross it over the left leg, or eventually what you're going to do is you're going to double cross. And if you can't quite do that yet, like I said, it's okay to just kickstand it. Double it cross. I like that. Double wrap. Double, <laughs> double wrap. cross. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Now you can put your hand on your partner's shoulder to start or on their hip, and if you want to stand closer to them, of course, that might help, just to work with the balance. And then eventually, once you feel comfortable with the balance, you can add in the arms. So if you want to stay like that, you can. Or if you feel comfortable, you can take the right elbow under the left one, and you try to take the palms pressing. So how is it? Left leg, right leg over? And then right arm on Right arm under. OK, good. That's and eventually, good what way. you want to do is work on squatting oh down goodness. a little bit. But you don't have to, OK? <laughs> you, can, you can always you know, use your partner if you need to. Just release your arms and hold on to them to catch your balance. Worry about the legs before you worry about the arms too much. Good point, yeah. Good. So, so big inhale to come up. And unwrap yourself. Wow. <laughs> Shake your legs. This wow. was a posture I did in a classroom once, and we forgot to do the other side. I couldn't focus for the rest of the class. <laughs> so let's do the other side. So, let's do the the other side. side. Yeah. so this side, you lean on the right side, and you can start by just holding onto your partner just to get your balance. And then you're going to take the left foot, and again, you can just kick stand it on the floor, or you can double cross. 
See, I can't quite get it on this side, but yeah, you know, you're all different, right? Yeah, you yeah. just see how you you just do the best you can, and then once you're comfortable there, now we'll take the left elbow under the right one, and if the palms don't touch, that's okay. You can just press the backs of the hands together. If the palms touch, that's fine too. And again, you're just working on squatting oh. down. How do we get a focus? You mentioned last time. Look I would look right in between the hands or look at the floor at one spot that doesn't move. Okay, got it. That's a good question. Just look one place. Breathe deeply. Squeeze the palms together. And then go ahead and come out of it. Oh, <laughs> now I feel balanced. And shake your legs. Ah. Oh, that feels nice. That's a nice one. That's a good one. one. Yeah. See, we balance. use people props this time. That yeah, you great. can use somebody to balance. Yeah. Yeah. Your husband, your partner, your <laughs> son, as long as it's somebody who's about the same height and size, right. not little kids. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is the chair instead of the wall? That's right. That's sure. right. The, the chair or the wall. That's right. Or the door, man. Sometimes they have dance bars in schools. You could mm -hmm. use that too. Yeah. Okay. Who's Great. next? Marjorie, did you have a pot shape like last time? How about? Um, <clears throat> Number three. Okay, oh, yeah, we oh, have it's katasana. Yeah, we actually sort of half did that with oh, practice, that but we didn't right. really get into it. So yeah, we, we did it in sure. combination with something else. So let's All right, this. so this one you can use the blocks in between the uh, thighs, and you can also use a partner. So uh, what you do is, Judy, can I borrow mm -hmm. that? So you're going to take the block, and you put it right above the knees, and you're going to squeeze the block. So it's going to help you get nice and strong with your quadriceps. So you can use that. Okay, and then you're going to face your partner, and you want your feet um, about hip width apart, and you want to just take a hold of their uh, wrists, and then what you're going to do is you're going to squat down, and you're going to pull back, and your partner's also going to pull back. So you're going to lean back and squat okay. down. Yeah. Good. So keep squatting down, keep squeezing that block, and see if you yeah. can go as far as you can. Good. Just relax the shoulders and breathe. So you both have to pull back, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> Don't let go. Good. Yeah, Judith. Right. Don't worry. So you really feel it in the legs? Yeah. yeah. Good. And then inhale to come up. That's right. And take a break. <laughs> that was wonderful. This one is called Utkatasana Thunderbolt. So basically, even when you, if you have a little kid that you're buttoning their shirts, you could be doing that. You can practice it, right? It's like I, a I call ball. it public toilet asana. Ah, that's <laughs> the, I thought that was malasana. Oh, that's a different kind. So you exactly. practice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You, you strengthen these. <laughs> you make it sit down. <laughs> Shall we try and cover something we haven't done? How about 31? 41. Would anyone like to give 31 a try? Mm -hmm. Come on, Zai, you can do it. Come on. Which one is it? 44. Okay, no, we haven't. 24. 24. 24. Let's see. We did. We just we did, did that one. We did this. We did 24 twist. just now. Seated right. twist. Yeah. Was that 24? Yeah. yeah. Let's combine no, 24. 20. I'm sorry. No problem. Um, 21. What about 20? 20. 28. We did one last time. 28? We did that one too. 28? Oh, yeah, did we do that before? Okay. I know, I checked it out because we were part of some. How about we do some prone and supine? Come on, guys, we're on air. <laughs> Want to show them some more postures? Should we, should we do that? Should we do that? Yeah, okay, let's do 28. Does okay. someone pick that? So yeah. I'm going to use this belt with you, okay, Zai? Yeah, that's and a great this one. Is, um, this is a great uh, pose to use a, you can use a towel at home, a washcloth, or a like I said, a necktie. So you guys can have a seat either on your block or on the floor. And what you'll do is if you want to um, get the legs in involved into it, there's two ways. There's the legs and the arms. So if you want to take the right knee and cross it in front of the left one and then sit maybe on the block in between the feet like that. Okay? And if you have a knee problem. And if you have a knee problem, then I would sit either like this or I would sit on the block. And just do the arm. Yeah, and just work with the arms. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, a very good. Cool. sit this okay. way either. Okay, so just sit cross-legged cross or yeah, however fine, you yeah. like. Yeah, great. And I recommend always sitting on the block, especially if you have sensitive knees. So the, the floor is very hard. So um, very good. So sitting anyway with, with the legs. You're going to take the right arm up. 
bend the right elbow. Since we only have one belt. And I'm going to use it with her. Okay. But you can bend the right elbow and just, yeah, like patting yourself on the back. <laughs> and then if you feel comfortable, yeah. take the left hand, reach around and stretch, stretch uh, holding onto your elbow. And then if you like, you can take the left arm underneath. And this is where we're going to use the strap here with you. So you take this with your top hand, hold on to it. Yep, and then just reach exactly perfect with the bottom hand. So you can also just hold on to your shirt. And you, if you like, you can work on folding forward a little bit. But you don't have to. You can just see how you feel. Good. And whenever you feel comfortable, you can come out of it. Ideally, you'd want to stay there for a few breaths and just get a nice stretch. But just for the sake of time, we'll, we'll do the other side. So. If you're doing the pose with the legs, you can come forward and switch and bring the left knee crossed over the right foot. Very good. And then when you feel ready, you can bring the left arm up. And what, what I do with the strap is, yeah, I start it in the top hand and then the bottom hand can easily reach around. So you can bend the left elbow, reach for a stretch, and then eventually take the right arm underneath. And if you feel comfortable, you can lean forward. But just see how you feel. You work on kind of getting comfortable there first. And then eventually, if you want to fold forward, you can. Good. How does the belt feel? Good? Does it help? Nice. So when you add enough, just release. Shake out your legs, Ooh, shake out your arms. that's a nice stretch. Wow. Good stretch. And with the belt, Zai, you can start slowly inching forward. I found that helped me a lot. Just start slowly walking start, your hands. Yeah. And get them closer and closer. That helped me too. Yeah. All right, we have, actually we're doing very well for time, so Judy, would you like to pick one? Okay, let's see. You know, I always like that, the bridge is at number 46. Yes, That's we just did that. We did, we did. Today, actually I should have marked them up in the last what episode. With me? Um, let's <coughs> see, what about 43? 43? Yeah, plow. Oh, wow. You are adventurous. Okay, let's get into that. That is wonderful. That's okay, nice well, I would I would um, use either, you could use the block to press the toes on. Right. Or right. you can also put uh, your legs on a chair at home if you yeah. have a chair. If we're at home, we can use a chair, but those who have blocks, why don't we use that? Yeah, sure. Right. So what you would do is uh, you would lay down with your head facing here and your feet facing there. And no, um, if anybody has problems with the neck, you would want to not do this pose. This is um, this is a pose that just gently uh, stretches the neck, but it also it also stimulates the thyroid and the parathyroid. But if you have any kind of neck injury, you want to just go ahead and avoid it so that the neck can stay nice and long and straight. So uh, you can come into the bridge first, bending the knees, putting the feet flat. You would lift the hips a little bit and then interlace your hands behind the back and then kind of rest the body on the arms and then gently bring the knees into the belly and swing them over your head and we'll rest the toes on the block and they may not go all the way over but you can see how you feel hey amber how many inches off the floor am i maybe one foot one foot well yeah. i need to get <laughs> so i'll help you guys out with the blocks great that's perfect Okay, maybe I'll give this one to Banu. There you go, Banu. Thank you. <laughs> very <laughs> good. How many inches off the You're floor? very close. Here you go. So you just rest the toes right there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Everybody feels okay? And it's very important yep. to keep your chin to your chest and do not turn your head side to side. And exactly whenever you feel ready, you can take the hands to the floor, press the hands down, and use your stomach strength to slowly lower your legs all the way down. Very slowly, gently. What if my stomach doesn't cooperate? <laughs> <laughs> it will, <laughs> over time. <laughs> take some time. Very good, nice. Yeah, and when you're done, you can just hug the knees and just you know roll a little bit side to side. And what I usually do is I like to turn the head side to side. And if you don't mind, a common pose after the plow We'll just go into Matsyasana, fish yeah, pose. Great idea, Bam. What you can do is use the block. And if you want to take a look, I'll show you first. I call it fish on a block. So um, you can use, again, the medium or the small setting. 
what you do, this is a counter pose for shoulder stand, so it's, it brings the neck stretching the other way so that you get both, um, you know, both ways with the neck. So you lay on your back, you take the block under the shoulder blades, you press the elbows down, and then you take the top of the head to the floor. The shoulder stand, the neck is curled in, but fish, oh, yeah. neck is out, That's and if you want, you can bring the arms over the head, now you're telling me that. And see how you feel. <laughs> my arms are under my butt. Right. <laughs> so you see how you feel, but you can work on the fish either with the block or without. So if you have neck problems, you should avoid this movement? Or? If you have neck problems, you mm. can do it with the block, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't do it without the block. Okay. With the block is okay. That's a that's a good that's a good question. Arms alongside your body, hold on to your thighs. And press your elbows down into the floor, and then try to take your head to the floor. Maybe oh, exactly. the, if it's too much, maybe you have the block. The block maybe under the shoulder blades. I think it's a little oh, low for that's you, that's so cool. slide it up a little bit. Yep, that looks good. Is that okay? Can you lift your body off the floor, or do you have to keep? Or should you keep your hips Let me down come and help you. <coughs> that's a good question. So, yep, it looks good, Amy. So hold on, come up a little bit. All right, okay. we have a couple of minutes left. Actually, we're almost there. Is that okay? Even if you just need to reach. It's okay. So you probably want to do it without the block. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. We can almost The rest of you can stay in your postures. So that's fine. You just take the hands on your side. Feel free. I'll just close them. Just press your elbows down. Uh, Yoga Express yep. team signing off. We hope you'll join us again next week. Thank you, Amber. That felt delicious to use Douglas's <laughs> term. We loved it. Thank you so much for watching us. We'll see you again next week. If anyone wants a copy of the postcard, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope, and we will mail you a copy of the card. No stamps, no card. See you next week. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>